Today, we're gonna to be looking at Morse code. And I gotta be careful how I say that. You know, I'm 43 now, almost 44. And just a few months ago, my wife informed me I was saying that wrong. I kept putting an extra uh, vowel in there. I kept on saying Morse code, but it's Morse code, not Morse code. So if I mispronounce during this video, you have to forgive me. I am trying to get over a 40 years of saying it wrong. But Morse code, we're going to Morse code stuff. We're both uh, audio and visually, right? Dots and dashes. So we're going to install two programs, sudo app install Morse and Morse to ASCII. And again, what is ASCII? It's a standard for characters. Again, to simplify it for these videos, we're just saying, if you can type it on the keyboard, it's ASCII, okay? And which is what we're going for now. Now that I have those two installed, I can use the program Morse. So again, just like all our previous videos in this series, uh, I'm going to say echo. This is my message. I'm going to pipe it to Morse. What does it do? And there we go. It created some Morris code audio for us. Did I just say Morris code? Morse code. Anyway, so again, that's that's how you create it. Now I've recorded this exact message into an audio file, a wave file. So now we're going to use the other program we installed called Morse to ASCII to convert it back. So all I have to do is say Morse to ASCII and the name of the file that I've saved the audio to and it gives me this output. It gives me information about the audio file, but then down at the bottom, this is my message, right? So it got it. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure Morse, Morse code uh, is not case sensitive, like it, it only has one case, so it's gonna all be uppercase or lowercase, so you, we do lose the, the case sensitiveness of this, which is important if you're trying to send something like, I've talked a lot about base64 does have uppercase and lowercase characters by default, uh, you that would mess up the encoding if we did everything lowercase or uppercase. So we do have more information here than we need. Uh, let's quickly look at Morse to ASCII and see if there's a quiet option. Uh, Q codes parsing. Um, I do know how to, okay, doesn't say anything about that I see real quick. So if we don't want all this extra output and all we want is our message, the message is standard output, while well, the other information here is not. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to say two pipes are greater than symbol. And we're just going to redirect that into a null file. So dev null, that means just basically dump it to garbage. So the only thing that's left is our standard output, which is our message right there. So again, we had our message here, which is this is my message again with a capital T. I saved that to a wave file, so it's the same message. And let it finish. But when we do it, we lose that, that case sensitiveness. Before I forget, I also want to remind you all these videos, there's a link in the description to all of the, uh, the notes on this. So you can copy and paste stuff for yourself. But let's go ahead and sudo apt install uh, Morse, Morse Gen. Uh, which is another application. Looks like I already have it installed. Great. I actually recently used this in a video. So Morse Gen, you can give it a file, but I'm going to go ahead and echo into it. I'm going to say, uh, again, this is my message. This is going to give us Morse code, but in dots and dashes, uh, visually using uh, dashes and periods. So there you have something that you could actually send to somebody as plain text. Uh, you know, in a text message or something like that with dots and dashes and all they would need to do is no Morse code or, you know, uh, just be able to look it up again. If we uh, use a man page and look at that first program, Morse, and we go through here, there's lots of options. You know, you can speed it up. Uh, it looks like there's volume options, frequencies, lots of different stuff. But there's also a chart here of how things are encoded. So, you know, right there, you have on your system different ways to encode uh, different things. If you want, you just look it up for reference stuff. Uh, also, look at my previous videos. I use this Morse Gen to create these dots and dashes and then convert those to timestamps to make the LED on my keyboard flash. Uh, I don't know if you all of you saw that video. Maybe like a year ago I did it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, check my channel out for that. And so you could send people messages by making different LEDs on their computer or keyboard flash using this if they know Morse code and you know how to uh, make those LEDs flash. So check that video out. Thanks for watching and keep on watching. I hope that you have a great day.